ஹலோ கேட்ஸ் குட் மார்னிங் ஜெய சுவாமி நாராயண் சி இன் புக் நம்பர் ஒன் ஆன் பேஜ் நம்பர் எயிட்டீன் வி வில் ரைட் த டேட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சி ரைட் லெட்டர் பி ரைட் லெட்டர் பி போத் ஆர் பி பட் கீப் இன் மைண்ட் விச் ஒன் இஸ் கேபிட்டல் லெட்டர் அண்ட் விச் ஒன் இஸ் ஸ்மால் லெட்டர் ஓகே ஸோ ஷெல் வி ஸ்டார்ட் கம் ஆன் now you know how to write one standing line and you know two curves c capital letter b now small letter b one standing line from red line to blue line and only one curve small letter b right so finish this page too and one more page page number 19 what we have don't forget to write the date now see color the boxes with capital b or small b we already have done this with letter a so now you must know what to do with this so find out capital letter b and small letter b and color it you know how to color see in this way okay so start coloring see i have done see right b below the pictures capital and bo- small both okay so start it from here red line to blue line now you know how to write b okay see capital b and small b b for basket b for belt before book before butterfly before bat before bag see so many objects are there okay so finish this page in this way bye bye kids see see you body parts of animals like us animals also have different body parts this is a dog it has a face with two eyes two ears one nose and one mouth it has four legs and one tail an elephant has a long nose called trunk and big teeth called tusks it also has very big ears like fans a camel has a hump on its back and a cow has horns on its head in skill book on page number 35 write down the date first 6 july 20 now see what is it capital letter k k for kite k for canal k for key k for kangaroo k for kiwi so many other objects are there okay so shall we start how to trace it from top to bottom draw one standing line then two slanting lines one is from red line to first blue line and from first blue line to second blue line okay so three lines are there one standing line two slanting lines now see trace and write capital letter k how to trace now you know so see one standing line then one slanting line and one more slanting line capital letter k so trace it in this way and write in this way see one standing line then two slanting lines and it will be done okay so you know this is your class work and this is your homework so finish these two pages okay bye bye see you kids hello kids good morning jai swami narayan see in book number 2 on page number 
write down the date first it is 7th july 20 okay see the chapter it is animals so this chapter is about animals you can see a picture it's of a dog right we all are familiar with dogs right so today we will see the body parts of a dog not only dog we will see the body parts of other animals also okay so shall we start from here look at the picture of the dog and say the names of its body parts now see ear how many ears are there two right head neck back tail how many tails a dog has two no one yes right a dog has one tail how many legs a dog has right four and see these are called paw paw means panja okay now see stomach tongue nose eyes now if someone ask you how many eyes a dog has yes two eyes very good now see most animals have these body parts in common like eyes tongue stomach back neck head ear nose leg tail paw all these but it can be differ from animal to animal like the tails can be short or long the tail can be bushy so we will see all those things okay now see on the next page on page number 51 there are some animals that have special body parts let's know about them now see we have pictures of cow buffalo and goat can you tell me how they are differ from a dog see they also have four legs one tail two eyes back stomach neck tongue everything it's same like dog right cow buffalo and goat have horns see these two are called horns how many horns they have they have two horns or you can say a pair of horns see cows buffaloes and goats have a pair of horns on their heads right now see there is a picture of a camel and an elephant now we will see how the camel is different from other animals see a camel has a big lump on its back called hump see this one this is called hump which animal has a hump so the answer will be a camel has a big hump on its back yes now see we have a picture of an elephant now how the elephant is different from other animals an elephant has a long nose called trunk it may also have a pair of long teeth called tusks what is it tusks which animal has a trunk yes an elephant has a trunk and which animal has tusks of course 
an elephant has tusks. So, I explained these two pages. Now, you go through with this. Okay? See you. Bye-bye, kids.